In this presentation, we're going to look at accuracy, recall, and precision. So, uh, suppose we have a binary classification system, a predictive model that uh, classifies outcomes into two possible uh, cl classifications, positive or negative. We could have cases that are actually positive, but are predicted to be negative, cases that are actually negative and predicted to be positive. We might sort of find them all, to, uh, there's four possible outcomes here and we would list them as follows. So true negative, that is something that's actually negative and predicted to be negative. Likewise true positive, actually positive and predicted to be positive. The last two are more interesting, false negative. This is something that is actually positive but predicted to be negative and false positive, something that's actually negative but predicted to be positive. So uh, we're going to use uh, these outcomes here for uh, discussing accuracy, recall and precision. So we could tabulate our data here like this, our outcomes like this. So we have the actual classes there, which is something that's actually negative, actually positive. And we could have the predictive classes there, so something that's predicted to be negative and predicted to be positive. And here are our outcomes again, true negative, false negative, false positive, true positive. So these are how we might sort of tabulate the results. Now it's uh, sort of the overall proportions here of the particular results are of what are usually are of interest. For example, positive, uh, predicted positive uh, results are the false positives and the true positives collectively. So false positive and true positive are the predicted positive res uh, outcomes. Whereas we might have the actual positive outcomes which is the uh, false negatives and true positives. Important little point there for later on. So uh, the key metrics are as follows accuracy, recall and precision. So this is accuracy is the total number of correct classifications divided by the total number of, of uh, cases. Very straightforward. Actually the formula makes it m look more complicated than it is. Recall uh, the total number of true positives divided by the total number of actual positives. Okay and the precision total number of uh, true positives divided by the total number of predicted positives which is uh, true positive and false positive. So let's use this data set here so we have 100,000 cases we have 9, 97,750 tr true negatives true positives we have 1,770 false positives 150 and finally false negatives 330 Okay, now what is our key interest again are these results here. Okay, so let's move on. The accuracy proportion of correct classifications, that is the true positives and negatives from the overall number of cases. So in the last slide we've seen that we had the true number of positives was 97,750 and the true negatives uh, Sorry, I got them back to front, but yeah, that's the the numbers are still right. So this is the true po uh, uh, negatives here, and this is the true positives. So one seven uh, seven zero, and anyway, the answer is not point nine nine seven two. So ninety nine point five two percent accuracy with this classification system. That's grand. Now, recall. So this is the total number of correct positive classifications which is essentially the true positives from the number of cases that are actually positive now remember the false negative are they are actually positive but predicted to be negative okay so again let's look at the numbers there we have 1770 true positives and the number the total number of predicted positives there is 1770 plus 3 um uh, 330 so do, uh, working it out with a calculator we would find that the recall is not 0.8428 okay just take a moment to consider that our last metric was accuracy which was 0.9952 which was pretty impressive now 0.84 is impressive as well but not as impressive as the last case remember we have 330 uh, false negatives so that might be patients that we fail to diagnose 
Anyway, so moving on, the last one is precision. So the total number of uh, correct positive classifications, true positives, from the number of cases that are predicted as positive. Okay. And this here is the true positives divided by the true positives plus false positives. And there we have it there. So it's 1770 divided by uh, 1770 plus 150. It is 92%. 0.9219. Uh, That's quite high, but recall it's not as impressive as the accuracy, 0.9952. Uh, so when you're sort of judging a predictive model, uh, you know, you're giving yourself an easy pass, giving yourself an easy um, uh, critique with your accuracy, whereas the recall and precision would be a bit more sort of uh, stringent measures of how good your classification system is and that is why they are also quite important. So that is ends our presentation.